Hey guys, welcome back to another video with Infos like Pat. In today's video, we're going to be learning about fishing attacks with the set tool. Remember, all these videos are for educational purposes. This is all set up in my own lab. I have an, a virtualized environment with Kali Linux and a couple Windows boxes. And also when I do like the capture the flags with the Volume Hub machines, this is all in my network. So please just use this for educational purposes. We're all learning together and let's just have fun, right? So I just want to put that disclaimer, you know, I don't want you guys, I don't condone any malicious activity. This is all for educational purposes to learn the concepts, okay? So in the last video we learned about, let me click over here, we learned about the setting up a payload and sending it off to the victim machine, right? To the Windows 7 machine in that case, because my Windows 10 box blew up on me. So actually I just installed a new Windows 10 box. Let's see how long it lasts. I actually took a snapshot this time. Best practices, take a snapshot of your VMs. Something blows up because I was testing something and I broke it and I can restore it now. So and maybe I can show you guys how to do that. Maybe we can take a, a snapshot of this new one again because I, I, I'll show you guys how to do that. But um, so in here, we're gonna be talking about, you know, the phishing aspect of the set tool. So, you know, what is the set? The set is the social engineering toolkit. It's an open source penetration testing framework designed for social engineering. And what is social engineering? That's pretty much trying to trick someone to get their credentials, click on a link, uh, maybe, you know, tag into a building, you know, be nice. You know, it's pretty much to trick a person to do something that you want them to do, right? So what we're gonna learn in this video, you know, we already know what set is. It's in Kali Linux, excuse me, Kali Linux, Parrot OS, and all the pen testing distros. And in this one, we're gonna be setting up a phishing page, right? With Google and Twitter, because those are the built-in ones. With set, with the social engineering toolkit. So that's pretty much it. You know, it's gonna be a pretty simple video, but we're gonna have some fun, right? Like I always do. All right, so let's open up my Kali. All right, let's uh, make this bigger. I think this is my Windows box. Uh oh, don't tell me it broke. Let's, uh, that's my Cali box. Did my Windows 10 blow up again? <laughs> oh man. All right, let's just log into Cali. Let's see if we can just reboot this. Let's shut this down for now. We'll get onto that box in a second. Can I change the select mode monitor? Okay, that's fine. All right, so we'll go back to Cali. Minimize all this. Let me try to just get that box back up, see if it'll work. Let's just see if I really blew it up. We'll let this boot up for a second. So let's get back to Cali, right? So let me see something here. All right. So sorry, guys. Right when I started, I, I jinxed it, right? So let's just type in set for the social engineering toolkit. It's right here. Let's just open this bad boy up, put in that fancy password. And we have the set tool, All right? Let's make this bigger. Okay. So like I said in the other video, setting up the payload. Now this video, we're just gonna set up the phishing site. So the first option is social engineering attacks. That's what we're gonna be doing today. So let's press one, okay? And from this menu, there's 10 options, right? So in this case, we're gonna be setting up number two, a website attack vectors, okay? And in here, we have a few options. We have seven, we have Java, we have Metasploit Browser, we have Credential Harvester, we have Tab Nibbler, Nabbling, and so on and so forth. So we're gonna go ahead and choose the number three, okay? And we are going to set up a web template. So number one, okay? So in here, we have to give the IP address, I think you can see it. We have to give the IP address 
of the local attack machine. And if you don't know that, which I think I do, it's 200, but we can do an if config, and we can see that 200 is our IP address. So we can copy this, go back, and paste it. Okay. Uh, what happened? All right, yeah, so we're gonna do number two. We're gonna do Google. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is go on to the victim machine, which is Windows 10, if it didn't blow up. Let's see if we can get into this. All right, so far so good. We definitely wanna make a, screen, uh, a, a snapshot of this because if this thing blows up, I'm not gonna be a happy camper. That takes time to install it, get it configured, and all that stuff. So, but once we're done with the whole, with the video, we'll set up a snapshot with this machine. So let's go over to Edge, and we're gonna go ahead and browse to that machine, which is 192.168.32.200, okay? Once this boots up, once I have some, I don't wanna restore, just wanna go HTTP, 192.168.32.200. It should look like Google, right? This is like testing it, right? So I'll just put uh, at, at google.com and password 2021. And it redirected me to Google. And let's go see on our Cali box. We can see here that possible user field found, username field found, and password field found, right? So we have pat at Gmail, and then password 2021. So we're able to get that information. We were able to compromise it, right? So in this case, like when you, you know, do like your security awareness training, that's super critical when, you know, this will prevent a lot of social engineering attacks if you have a good awareness program in your, in your company or providing so, uh, security awareness training. You can do it with no before, you can create your own. There's a whole bunch of, uh, there's a whole bunch of options out there. So let's go ahead and hit enter here. We can do it again, we're gonna do Twitter. We can do Twitter, right? We can do number three again. We can do number one. We can do 192.168.32.200. Okay, now we can do number three for Twitter. And now let's go back and do the same thing. 192, now it should be Twitter. All right, so I'm gonna put infosec pat, and then password is the best for me. I think I, think I fat fingered that, but let's see if I, did, if I did. All right, so password is the best for plus me. Me plus you equals, I don't know. But uh, yeah, so now we have, you know, we have uh, compromised or we were able to get those, that information, you know, those passwords and usernames. So yeah, that's pretty much it. We can cancel this, we can 99, we can 99 here, we can 99 here. And thank you, hugs and handshakes, okay? So, let me go ahead and take a snapshot of this. Uh, snapshot, take a snapshot. And this is Windows 10, new. Okay, take a snapshot. And that should be good in a second. It'll take a snapshot of that. It's saving state down here, you can see. I don't know if you can see it. It's all the way in the bottom left. It's 88, 89% which will get to 100%, then we'll go into the snapshot manager to make sure this snapshot was taken, okay? X out of here, it's almost done. But yeah, that's pretty much it for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Like, please like, subscribe, share. These are fun little videos to make. And uh, yeah, we'll give this a second. I wanna show you guys that it worked. Well, I wanna at least know it worked. So we can go back to snapshot, snapshot manager. And we have our snapshot here, boom. So if we, if we blow up this machine, we can just go back here and then we can go to that, okay? So that's it for today. 
Hope you guys enjoyed. Take care, and until next time, be safe.